guys, Joe Brinker back here again from Back to Basics Fitness and tonight we're going to break down an exercise that kind of confuses a lot of people. They're not really sure if it's a good exercise, what it's used for, is it worthless, does it have value? That exercise is the zombie squat. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can give you all the breakdown on this, sets, reps, programming, rest periods, frequency, its benefits, and everything else in between. Alright, let's break this one down. The zombie squat, what is it? Basically what it is, it's an exercise that's really going to teach you how to perform proper front squats. It's going to help you in your power cleans, in your hang cleans, in your snatch. It's basically just going to help you all around when it comes to learning how to front squat properly. And it'll also really teach you proper bar placement when you receive the bar after the pull on a clean. So what you're going to do is you're basically just going to power clean this thing up into position. Now from here, you're going to want to just let the bar rest on the shelf. The shelf refers to basically the top of the clavicles, that collarbone area. So when you remove the hands, the barbell is going to be sitting right there on the upper chest and the front shoulders. What you should be thinking about, and when you hear people talk about the front squat being an excellent upper back builder, what they mean is, you really want to try to keep tension in your shoulder blades. So right now I'm trying to stay in scapular retraction. Because if I start to go into protraction at all, that bar is just going to roll right off of my shelf and I'm going to wind up here. So that's what happens to a lot of people in their front squats, is they start to lose it in the upper back and then when they start to bend forward at all, things go wrong. So for the zombie squat, we just want to get our feet just outside of shoulder width apart. We're going to have our toes slightly flared out. Now from here, I'm just going to keep my arms horizontal. I'm going to let that barbell rest on the shelf and I'm going to go ahead and squat down. You want to go all the way down to the full squat. Make sure that the upper back is nice and straight. The head is nice and straight. I'm not looking down. I'm not looking up. I'm in a neutral position. My knees are not caving inward. I'm thinking about spreading the knees outward. And then from here, I stand up. What you're going to want to do is, as far as breathing, you're going to want to inhale through the nose on the negative. When you get to the bottom, exhale through the mouth on the positive. And you're going to want to keep your reps going just like that. I'm going to show it from the side just so you can see what it should look like. I'm here. This teaches you to remain totally vertical in the upper body. Like I said, if you start to lose it at all, that barbell is going to fall out of the proper position. My suggestion to you, as far as safety goes, do these inside of the squat rack with the safety pin set. So that way, if you do have any kind of error, it's not going to go falling to the ground. It's not going to crush anybody's foot. No one's going to get hurt. It'll just fall right on the safety rack. If you are doing it outside, try to do it over grass and away from people. And just be careful with this one. So there you have it. There's the zombie squat. As far as sets and reps and frequency, this really isn't an exercise that needs to be in your routine all the time. It's an exercise that you would use ideally in the beginning of your training when you're first learning so that way you can learn good habits. So if you're a trainer and you want to teach your clients how to front squat, it may be helpful to teach them this variation. Start off with something light like a foam roller so that way if it falls it doesn't scare them and it's not an issue. But this is a really good exercise even if you don't planning on teaching your, uh, your clients the Olympic lifts. If you want to teach them the front squat, you should, definitely, you should definitely consider teaching them the zombie before the front squat. Also, the front squat from this position requires a lot of wrist flexibility, lat flexibility, etc. And the X grip feels a little weird for some people. And even though the zombie looks like it would kind of be dangerous, some people actually prefer it, or a lot of people prefer it, to this crossbody grip. So, sorry, I just thought I would share that with you because those are tips that can really help you out on the gym floor. As far as sets and reps, you're going to want to do these three to four sets. You're going to want to stay anywhere in the six to 15 repetition range. Keep your rest period 60 seconds to two minutes. 
And again, these aren't about going super heavy. They're not about going fast. They're about control and form and being aware of your body and what it's doing and all the cues. So there you have it guys, there's a zombie squat. I hope this one helps. I thought it was an interesting exercise and I thought a video should be made on it. So there you go. Please follow, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And if you ever have any questions about training or you're lost or you're stuck, just hit me out or just hit me up and I'm here to help you guys out. All right, y'all have a good night. Until next time, stay strong, peace.